हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप फ्रॉम यू गाइज दैट यू विल बी सेफ इन योर होम्स एंड विल बी स्टडिंग वेरी डेलीजेंटली ओके एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट द स्टडी बिकॉज आई एम हेयर सो लेट स्टार्ट today we read another part of the noun ahead of what he had read yesterday what he had read yesterday last start yes today we learn about the abstract noun and we study about the common and proper noun in the previous class and i uh, today i will discuss about abstract noun what do you mean by abstract noun abstract noun means it is a feeling and a quality which cannot see hear touch taste or smell okay the these are not concrete things they are feelings qualities or emotions which we can only think of and feel within which we can which we can remember this only think of and feel within not touch by hand any and any of the five senses of the body organ such words are known as abstract noun such words are known as abstract noun abstract noun is the name of write down the definition of the abstract noun the abstract noun is the name of a quality feeling or state which cannot be identified by any of the five senses but can only be experienced just like example the children were full of joy as they played on the slide here joy is a abstract noun it is a feeling okay and next the boy did not lose hope till the end so here hope hope also emotion as emotion feeling or qualities are called abstract noun i think you know very well what is an abstract noun abstract noun is an the abstract noun an abstract noun is the name of quality feeling and state which cannot be identified by or which cannot be touched smell see hear by the sense organs of the body understand okay let's read about the next part of noun here the next type of the noun this is material noun material nouns material se aap kya samajho what you what do you understand by the material noun materials substances ya ingredients from which thing are made are known as material nouns you listen again materials substances or ingredients from which things are made are known as material noun okay so all these materials are noun and are known as material noun just like gold sand milk Oh, sorry, gold, silver, 
diamond, wood, all material. material. Okay, ye material noun do not have plural form. Material noun do not have plural form. It only write down. It only can be singular. Okay, material noun are uncountable you are you cannot count them material noun are uncountable you can not count them okay listen some nouns can be used both as material nouns and common nouns okay कुछ नाउन ऐसे होते हैं जो मेटेरियल नाउन की तरफ भी यूज होते हैं और कॉमन नाउन की जैसे भी जैसे एग्जांपल द बॉय प्लेड ऑन द सेंड द बॉय प्लेड ऑन द सेंड सेंड हियर सेंड इज कॉमन नाउन एंड बॉयज कैसल इज मेड ऑफ सेंड इधर मेटेरियल नाउन तो बेटा यहाँ क्या आप यू कैन सी द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड लुक द बॉय प्लेड ऑन द सेंड एंड द बॉय कैसल इज मेड ऑफ सेंड हेयर सेंड कैन बी यूज्ड बोथ एज मेटेरियल नाउन एंड कॉमन नाउन अंडरस्टैंड एंड अदर वन Pour me some milk in the glass. Pour me some milk in the glass. Here, milk used as a common noun. And number four, yogurt is made from milk. Here, milk used as material noun. In the first sentence, sentences, sand is referred. To as a thing. First sentence में sand एक thing की तरह use हुई, ठीक है? That is why sand is common noun. इसलिए sand common noun है, ठीक है? Which in second sentence sand is a material form. We the castle is mad and so it is a material noun. और दूसरे ही जैसे उसी तरीके से दूसरे सेंटेंस में क्या हुआ कि यहाँ था कि कैसल बन रहा है किसका मेटेरियल से बन रहा है किसी मेटेरियल का यूज हो रहा है उसमें तो वो मेटेरियल क्या है सैंड ठीक है एक सैंड यूज हुआ जस्ट लाइक अ थिंग एंड नेक्स्ट अदर सैंड इज यूज एज अ मेटेरियल सो आई थिंक यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड what is the meaning of the uh, common and material noun and what is material noun okay and and tomorrow we will study about the countable and uncountable noun so goodbye all of you have a nice day take care